Alright, so in a previous video, I installed Ubuntu 14 on uh, VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox, and now I'm going to do the same exact thing on uh, VM Player. So I downloaded Ubuntu from the website Ubuntu Download, and uh, uh, you'll, you'll see it's Ubuntu 14. I also have 13 here, previous versions, and you'll notice the uh, file sizes are uh, ever increasing. So let me go ahead and get started here, create a new virtual machine. So right away it prompts me for the installation disk. And let me go ahead and look for it here, which is my Ubuntu 14. And I'll be calling it VM. To fourteen make it eighty gigs. I like it in one big file. And I do want to customize the hardware. So I clicked on customize hardware. Specifically, I really want the network controller to be the bridged, which shares the physical IP address uh, with my DHCP server on my network. So, um, okay, everything looks good. Auto detect. All right, that looks fine. And I'm going to go ahead and click finish. So it's booting up to Ubuntu. it's uh, installing there with VM player there's some sort of automated install here so it, it is different when when you notice th there's a lot of automatic stuff that it's doing no, notice I didn't have to fill in anything I didn't have to fill in uh, my username or password or um, you know any of the other information about the keyboard and all of that so it just goes ahead and it um, does all the installation. And it actually appears a little bit quicker than virtual box at least the install the installation and it seems to work a little bit better natively because it does pick up the screen resolution without having to install any type of extra software but but all of these VMs actually does install drivers onto the native operating system so you notice it, it has Wi-Fi here and it's um, it's a virtual machine so I don't actually have a Wi-Fi adapter for this virtual machine um, so uh, it looks like it's just copying the files so let me pause it and um, when it's done I'll come back so now it's done copying the files and it's actually installing the system so um, it's, it's just gonna go through configuring uh, installing all the packages and so far this has taken about five minutes and this um, installing the packages themselves would probably take another five minutes so in total the whole process takes about 10 to maybe 15 minutes um, not long at all for installing an operating system 
so uh, looks like it's uh, initiating the install and there's probably another five minutes to go so I'm gonna pause it and uh, wait for it to finish and it's gonna prompt me for a, a reboot okay so it looks like it's done the install and it's uh, rebooting itself so it's going through the whole process now So it's installing the VMware tools in on this screen. And uh, th it did this in the VMware also. Um, so all right, there, there it is, it's doing something. Uh, installing the virtual machine uh, drivers, I suppose, or extra software to support a virtual machine here. So I actually had to restart my installation because I, I was prompted to install the VMware tools for Linux and I didn't, didn't do that. And what happened was um, the Ubuntu wouldn't install correctly on VMware. So I am actually updating that here. Um, I probably shouldn't have ignored that error from VMware to actually download the tools because it is essential to installing any type of Linux operating system so um, that's what I'm doing now and uh, I'll let you know when this uh, finally reboots again so now it's uh, done ins uh, installing the software it's going to configure it uh, it's booting up restarting and this is where it got stuck last time uh, hopefully because I didn't install the VMware tools for Linux and it actually looks like it is doing something yeah it, it's installing uh, VMware tools right now seems to be getting some type of uh, error there hopefully it's not gonna get stuck here again Okay, so it looks like it's uh, done soon, and there you go, it, it actually did successfully start, so I'm going to log in here. seem to like my resizing too much but looks like it natively supports it and so there you go that that's the complete install of uh, Ubuntu on VMware